Hello everybody, welcome back once again to another part. Part number 52 of Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War English Campaign. Well, I'm back off holiday. It's good to be home. As much as holidays are very nice and relaxing, there's no place like home. And I'm back and I'm looking forward to once again starting up the LPs. Um, so yeah, it was 26th of May, the last episode, so... Uh, a little bit ago, so I had to remind myself of what had happened, and uh, a few everything was was left in an orderly fashion. I just had this family yes, member, noble Hubert, moving into Carnarvon because there was too many in Nottingham. They think they're having the life of Riley, all amassed in Nottingham, having a party, but no, they were going to to govern Carnarvon. Uh, yeah, we had just taken Angers with uh, Harold. And we're now retraining the troops and preparing a second army. He's going to lead. An, he's led the army to Angus. He's now going to lead the army, and probably wipe out a few of these captained armies just to take down the French's military might as he presses on towards this direction. Probably taking out the French's weaker settlements first. And I'm trying my best to take out the family members one at a time. Nobody's in Paris. Lor uh, not Lawrence, I keep thinking he's called Lawrence. Lord Robert design. of Nottingham has spotted a family member in Reims. Uh, there's a family member in Metz, that's the prince, that's two. We know there's a king out there, that's three. Not sure about there. And there's one about to be killed here. That's possibly four. So the French family members are... If I can eliminate them then we might not even have to defeat all their armies. So, first things first, Need someone removed, let's sir. see if Toby can dispatch of Conrad. Closing for the kill, sir. Ah, oh, you sly little dog there. He missed the target there. It would have been nice for him to kill him. Never mind, maybe we might get him next time. Or maybe he might have a try at the Prince. How old is he now, anyway? Who do you want dead? Fifty-four. And the king. Yes, yeah, that reminds me. The king. He'll get him here. Sixty-five. Pressing on. You know, in medieval times, sixty-five was quite an age to live to. You know, he's like the queen mother of England when she lived up to whatever she was, ninety odd. You know, bionic eye, bionic leg, bionic hip. You know, she was so soldiering on, refusing to die, and that's the king now. He's refusing to die. He might even outlive the prince. Who is on his way back, if we remember? Yes, he is. He's on his way back. And... Ready, sire. Admiral Aye, sire. Yeah, He is coming to Marseille. We can go no further this day, sire. Rather than sailing round. I mean, the prince is 58 now. He might even die before the king. That would be quite funny. Anyway, enough of my chattering. That's about where we left off. Oh yes, and Marseille. One more turn. As you command, my liege. Before we take it. And the Venetians are there as well. Maybe they might pop by and say hello and give me a helping hand. Oh, the king has lived, outlived three popes, I think. Anyway, Pope Bo who? I'm not even going to try. Oh! I put the curse on the. I oh, don't believe it. I put the curse. The old commentator's curse. Murray Walker was the. Uh, the F1 commentator was typical for doing stuff like that. Oh, and, uh, you know, he's doing so well in the. And the next lap he'd spin off. So, yes, the king is dead, which means that our current king is in the middle of the damn water. Ship's ready! In the middle of the water. Well, how can you run a country from the Mediterranean Sea? Set sail. I don't know, but he's going to have to try. <laughs> okay, let me take stock here. So, King Lawrence, as I said, as I thought, would be a decent king. He's too old to get his uh, authority up really now. Um, so, fifty-nine. Who's he made the prince? Let's have a quick look here. He has made the prince... Prince Ambrose in York, 24. That's his. must be his eldest son. 
his eldest son. Okay, Prince Ambrose it is. So, he's going to have to soldier on and get back to dry land very quickly. He's got a job to do. Ah, oh, come on. Anyway, forget that. Recruitment report, a few buildings, faction announcements. Strongest faction is Denmark. Hmm, quite a pickle. Right, join me again in a second. Oh, okay, I'm back. Just had to collect my breakfast there. Scrambled egg on toast with bacon. If you're interested. Okay, so... <laughs> sure. Toby the Killer is going to now try his second scalp, which is the Prince of France. He's already killed one prince. Can he kill two? Just name the target, my lord. 22%. One in five chance. We'll try. Ah, oh, he gets him! Yes! Another French prince has said goodbye to this world. Go on, lad. Right, have another crack at this guy. Tomorrow's journey so, planned out. potentially the French could be down to three family members. Soon to be two. When Mr. Michel attacks Marseille. Here we go. Now, I did say I would be commanding this. Oh, but look at this. Easy as you like. And it's going to be a night battle as well. Easy as you like. Easy piece of lemon squeezy. Oh, okay, what? Well, this is army. A few militias, a few crossbows. Oh, pitiful excuse for a garrison. Uh, do I even need to battle this one? I mean, it's going to be so easy. Three to one. But I will. I hate siege battles. <laughs> I forgot siege towers. I think I, I, I did build siege towers, didn't I? How do you see that now? Ah, bugger it. We'll fight it. We'll fight this one out. Your courage, men. I have we such a loathing battle. of the French right now after attacking me first that I really would like to see them crushed like bugs. So I'll do it personally. And it's the first night battle. So if you've never seen one, now's your opportunity. Right. Machiavelli. Blah -de blah -de blah. Okay, let's get the deployment sorted first. This is the most important thing. Are we attacking the side or the... No, 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 that's fine. Okay. First of all, I'm going to move them out of back. Okay, right, we have a siege tower. Siege tower at that side. A siege tower at that side. A ram in the center. Advance. The ladders by the side of the siege tower, a little bit further back so they don't get shot. And same at this side as well. Okay, so I don't get shot. And that's that. Right, and the rest of the army. We have archers. Uh, just behind the line at the front here. And if there's anybody to shoot, then they can do that. Who else have we got? We've got a boatload of horses here. We'll get them well out of the way. They're not going to be any use until the gates are captured. So we'll put them there. And we'll group them up. With a set of knights. And group them and stick them over here. Nope. Get them reformed. Like that. Mr. General Man. About there. And who's left? We're left with a boatload of Crusader Knights. Who will go here? Ready to go through the gates once they're bashed down. Right, that is our formation. So, let us commence the battle. Here we go. Mission is underway. What have they got on the walls here? They have crossbow militia, and they have town militia, and some more crossbow militia. Okay, we may need to put our ladders up as well. Oh, fire arrows raining down. Oh no, it's going to be close. Are they going to make it to the walls without these things burning? Ladders. Okay, ladders, you go to. The oh! Blooming on it! Pull back! We've lost! 
Run! Shoot. Okay. Have to be ladders then. Ah, that's not what I was supposed to happen. Okay, we still have a ram, we still have a siege tower. Although they are getting shot to bits. Right, join us again next time when this battle shall uh, recommence.